Hi, this is Ronnie from Everything Vive. I'm here at GDC 2018. I uh, just got a chance to play Battle X, uh, Birth of the Alliance. My understanding is it's going to be releasing fairly soon. And I'm here with Steve Wan, the CEO of Navi NaviWorks, as well as Angela Park. She's the Overseas Marketing Division Director. Uh, hi, Angela. Nice to meet you. And, and thank you very much for having me, Steve. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, so I guess uh, first, if you could give me just a brief introduction of, of NaviWorks and, and talk a little bit about what you guys um, are doing with, ba with Battle X. Okay. NaviWorks was established in 2000. Okay. And we are a market leader in VR, uh, not VR, military training simulations in okay. Korea. Okay. And based on our 18 years of uh, knowledge and technology and uh, know-how, we've uh, recently launched uh, this VR military first-person shooting game, okay. uh, targeting B2C. Okay. Yes. So Battlex is a real military game created by a real military simulation company for enlarging VR gaming market. And uh, it is compatible with Vive and Oculus. Uh, and PSVR and mobile VR version will be released uh, in the second half of this year. Okay. And, yeah, and it provides new immersion and joy as VR game that you haven't experienced from the existing PC and console games. And it provides realistic thrill by gamified tactics from the actual military ones. And it is the first game that uh, adapted serious gaming elements to the game, like uh, individual tactical simulation, replacement of ammo, guns, and throwing grenades, and concealment hide, etc. And it has battle net structure through multiplayer with team building. And it, it is cross-platform. And also, the last thing is that it is a very suitable game for esports, because um, uh, gaming esports broadcasters has huge have huge interest in our game mm -hmm. uh, since VR game has more visual appeal for the broadcaster than the traditional FPS game where the player is just seated and largely immobile. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get a chance to play the co-op yet. Um, I did get a chance to play some the, some of the early single player, and it seemed like yeah, it was it was taking me into. You know, putting me in different scenarios where I would be in a in a location and and like you said, kind of forced to 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 you know take out enemies around me based you know using different kinds of weapons. And uh, there were a variety of weapons that I got to try. I got to try you know just normal machine guns, but I also got to try rocket launchers and also like there was a bow that was explosive that I actually had a lot of fun with. Right. Um, what I don't know if you could speak a little bit about um, what you learned from the military sim side of things that you were able. To, to bring over like what 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 were some of the unique uh, things that you learned in, in more simulation that you're able to bring to this more like arcadey kind of fun game type experience yeah kind of uh, individual tactics and team level tactics okay and uh, like um, uh, like uh, how to use the weapons and contents also very realistic Okay. Yeah. As far as like the the co-op stuff, uh, how does that work exactly? Because like I said, I didn't get to try it. Um, is it is it very is it the same type of uh, experience, but now with multiple people, or are are players pit against each other? Like, how does it work? It's kind of death match. Okay. Yeah. You mean that the multiplayer, right? Yeah. Eight yeah. versus eight. Yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah, yeah. multiplayer. Yeah. Right. Right. So it is kind of death match. Okay. And, uh, it provides. Uh, various kinds of maps like a lab, forest, desert, bunker. Okay. And yeah, eight versus eight, they have made a team. Okay. And they have a match. Okay. To yeah, uh, win over, win over. Yeah. Okay. Team. And and I don't know if you can speak to this, but the players will be able to play cross-platform. Uh, if you have an Oculus, you can play with Vive players. Yes. And yes. vice versa. Okay. Yes, excellent. Right. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. Um, when's the when's the game set to release? Uh, in April, uh, April 30th, early access, okay. uh, compatible with Vive and Oculus. Okay. And in August, all platforms like uh, PC, VR, and um, PSVR, and sure. mobile VR. Okay, awesome. And uh, what's the be if, if people are interested in kind of checking out the game early and learning more about what you guys are doing uh, before the release, uh, what's the best way for people to do that? Sorry, could you repeat yeah. Uh, what's the best way for people to reach out to you mm -hmm. um, or to learn about the game before the release? Uh, before the release? Yeah. Um, 
Okay. Uh, you can see. Just uh, you can see. You can wait. <laughs> yeah. You should wait until the early access. Okay. Yeah. Before uh, early access, we will have uh, lots of promotion effect. Okay. Yeah. So. Do you guys have like a website or like a website, social browser, media? Social media and exhibitions. You can meet everywhere. Okay. Yeah, related to the game. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you both for your time. I, I appreciate it. And uh, is there anything else that you'd like to add before we uh, we finish the interview? Or if, if if Steve, if you could if you could give a few words. Yeah, that's not yeah, we'll try our best best to give uh, joy to the gamers. Uh, adding in addition to like by combining with tactical first person shooting elements, and we always try to make people happy with our game. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate that. So I know a lot of our listeners are, are very enthusiastic about virtual reality. So it, it, it's nice to, to hear that there's people like all over the world working on games that are, are trying to bring new experiences. Actually, our game has a uh, differentiation from the other games. Uh, after official launching in August, we will have, inside of the game, we will have team league. Team league structure. Okay. So it can be kind of become an amateur esports game. Okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Very ambitious. <laughs> yes. 실제로 어, 그 랭킹에 드는 팀이나 개인들은 어, 실제 공 솔저로 활용을 해도 될 만한 역량이 될 거라고 음. 재미도 느끼면서 그런 역량도 가지는 그런 기회를 제공할 거다. Yes. Uh, after playing our game, the players will be will have the capability uh, as uh, to enough become a real soldier. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I look forward to especially playing multiplayer to kind of see how it is. So yeah, yeah. I, I know a lot of people in VR are interested in games like this. So, uh-huh. so wish you guys the best of luck uh, you. with your early access and then eventual full-time release. And, and yeah, again, thank you very much for meeting with me. Thank you.